Well, it seems like the plot thickens in the world of beauty pageants and politics. Nicaraguan authorities have apparently shown the director of the national beauty pageant the exit door after the recent Miss Universe win raised more than just a few eyebrows. Can you believe it? Karen Celeberti, the Miss Nicaragua franchise owner, got a one-way ticket to Mexico after her daughter and she were detained upon arriving in the capital, Managua. All this drama just days after Shaney's Palacios made history as the first Miss Universe from Nicaragua. Talk about a roller coaster of events. Hello community. Welcome back to our channel. So, after Shaney's Palacios won Miss Universe, the director of the national beauty pageant, Karen Celeberti, got blocked from coming back home. Detained at the airport and then sent packing to Mexico. La Princesse spilled the tea on this one. The government apparently said, nope, to Karen and her daughter. No entry. Now, here's the juicy part, the government is tight-lipped about why they blocked Celeberti from entering her own country. Mysterious, isn't it? Rumor has it that the orders came straight from the top, courtesy of Vice President Rosario Murillo, who seems to be playing a role in this beauty pageant saga. Giaconda Belli, living in Spain after a citizenship shuffle, claims it's all because of Murillo, despite Celeberti's success in bringing home the Miss Universe crown. It's like a pageant-themed episode of a political drama, with searches of Celeberti's home and her husband's brief detention thrown into the mix. The Miss Universe organization is stepping into the ring, calling on Nicaragua to ensure the safety of everyone involved. It's like they're saying, hey, let's keep it classy and drama-free, shall we? And let's not forget the mural debacle. According to sources from the opposition, Government authorities took action last Tuesday by preventing two artists from finishing a mural featuring the new Miss Universe in the northern city of Esteli. Images of the incomplete artwork have been making the rounds on social media. Prize-winning Nicaraguan journalist Wilfredo Miranda, currently living in exile in Costa Rica, shared a perspective on the matter, stating, it is impossible to perceive this seemingly harmless competition without taking into account the political and social context. The significance of Palacio's coronation attire didn't escape the notice of many exiles. The elegant white dress paired with a blue cape, reminiscent of Nicaragua's patron saint, the Virgin Mary as the Immaculate Conception, was seen as more than just fashion. It carried a symbolic weight, especially in the midst of a government crackdown on the Catholic Church. In the face of adversity, Monsignor Silvio Baez, the auxiliary bishop of Managua currently residing in exile in the United States, expressed heartfelt gratitude, saying, Thank you for bringing joy to our suffering people, thank you for giving us hope. His words capture the sentiment of those who find solace and inspiration in Palacios' victory during challenging times. Reflecting on the broader context, the government's heavy-handed response to the 2018 protests resulted in a tragic toll, over 350 lives lost and more than 100,000 forced into exile. The aftermath witnessed the imprisonment of hundreds of critics, highlighting a stark reality of dissent being met with severe consequences. It's a drama-filled pageant with a political twist. As the Miss Universe winner embarks on a multi-nation tour, dedicating her victory to all six million Nicaraguans, in country or in exile, we can't help but wonder what the next episode of this beauty and politics saga will bring. She has chosen to remain silent amid the current developments. During the competition, the 23-year-old expressed her desire to work on mental health advocacy and closing the gender pay gap. The controversy surrounding Palacios adds a layer of tension to her achievement on the global stage. What lies ahead for the current Miss Universe 2023, Shaney's Palacios? Is this controversy just a fleeting moment, soon to be overshadowed by the glitter of her victory, or could it potentially lead to her dethronement? The prospect is unsettling, and we sincerely hope it doesn't come to that. Share your thoughts on this matter in the comments below, we'd love to hear your perspectives. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to embrace your uniqueness and strive for greatness. This is Shale of Shale Dell Entertainment.